are you doing? So today I'm going to be doing a first impressions on the Artist Couture highlight and I have the shade Coco Bling and I was kind of researching this highlight and looking into it and I kind of was discouraged because um, I went on their Instagram page and I tried to find really pale people wearing their highlights and the palest person I could find was Nikki Tutorials she was like the only pale person and she was wearing Coco Bling, but she's still like a shade and a half darker than me. So I was definitely nervous to get this highlighter. I haven't swatched it. I haven't done anything with it because I wanted to do it on camera. And I figured that if I couldn't find anything, like even on YouTube really, I couldn't find really pale people like trying this highlight that you guys can't find it either. So I figured that I would buy it and it would help you guys as well, is what I'm trying to say. So as far as their Instagram goes, they do have like over a thousand posts, so maybe like 800 back they have someone who's pale. But I did go through quite a few photos, so I really wish that they would show more pale people just because, especially with highlights, like if it's not light enough, then it lo doesn't look good. Like sometimes when it's hitting the lighter, it'll look good, but then whenever you turn your face and you can see like the dark, bronzy, like undertone, it's just a hot mess. So fingers crossed, this was kind of expensive. I believe it's $29. So the first immediate con, and I think that's what everyone feels about these, is that they are a loose powder. So obviously they're gonna be a little bit messy. Um, if it's beautiful, then I don't mind. So as I said, again, I got the shade Coco Bling, and right now in the package, it does look light enough. So let's just go ahead and try it on and see how it is. Okay, so that kind of took a minute to open, but I have it now, and I'm just gonna go ahead and dump some into the cap. Okay, so I'm just gonna swatch it real quick. I just have a little bit on my finger. So there's what it looks like. Like looking at it right like this way where I don't have the light on me, I was just thinking like this doesn't look magical, but then when you turn it to the light, it has such a glow. So I'm gonna use my Anastasia A23 brush. This is like one of the best highlighting brushes out there. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of product and adjust my mirror. Okay. Holy crap. So this is a highlighter that definitely does not need any building whatsoever. Whew. So I definitely don't think it's too dark. Like whenever I look from the front, I don't really have a glow, but also it doesn't look bronzy either, so it's okay. But I mean, it's really pretty. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit on my nose. That probably wasn't the best idea ever. My cupid's bow. I feel like... I don't want to say there's glitter in it. Because it doesn't look glittery, but it, I think it's just the texture of it kind of looks like there's like... Sparkles almost, but it's not like off-putting, it's just like kind of intense. It's not like... Like sometimes you think glitter on your face and you think like yuck, but it's not like that. But it does, like, I feel like the little particles kind of do show. I'm curious if I sprayed my brush if it would not be as textury. So I'm just going to go ahead and use whatever I have left in the cap. And just throw it on top of my cheekbones. So the number one thing is that it is light enough, which I'm really excited about. And I think that it is a really beautiful glow, like... Bam, from space, you don't have to build it up or anything like that. It's just like very intense right from the start. So if you're really into that, then I can see you loving this. And I am, depending on the day. So some days I want a natural highlight, but some days I want the satellites in space to like go off. So I overall, I give this highlight a thumbs up. I feel like it does have a little bit of texture, but the glow is just so beautiful. Um, I don't think that it's actually that messy. I know it's kind of like off-putting having to do this, but there is a little sifter. You can close it. And you can just, you know, it's not as messy as it might seem. The packaging was done well. And also the packaging is super cute. So hopefully this video is helpful. If I remember, I'm going to go ahead and leave in the description box how long the highlight wears for. And if I have any, like, notes for it throughout the day as I live my life.
Um, but if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.